Hello, today we're gonna to talk about the Imperity platform. Imperity is a customer data cloud designed to help you turn raw data into a cleaned up unified data to empower your marketing teams. The goal is to create something like a customer 360 table, which would give you the best available information across all of your customers, as well as rolled up clean attributes for all the different types of use cases that your marketing team will want to execute and different data sets for different types of use cases. Turning raw data into useful data is hard to do, but you need to start by connecting to your source data sets. You go to your sources tab. Sources tab has a, a bunch of different jobs you can configure to connect to your different data sets. You click here you, to add a courier and you get a library of different connectors for different systems. To connect to a snowflake, you would give your courier a name and you would stitch records and, and can do you know billions upon billions of comparisons across all your different raw data records. Uh, in this example here, you have 132 million records and the resulting stitch gives you a breakdown of your overall uh, stitch results, as well as a, an ability to look at different potential stitch tuning uh, that you might wanna do to make it as accurate as possible. You can look at any specific data set. So that same e-commerce data set here, you can see what the dupe rate was, what kind of overlap it has with other data sets. And this all happens just because you applied that tagging layer. Each imparity ID that gets generated is a graph. And so those semantic tags turn into these tables and you can see that you know this person has seven records, four from an e-commerce platform, three from other systems. And we apply, use up to 45 different machine learning algorithms to generate links and a clear transparent graph for you to use for any number of different use cases. And that creates transparent links uh, between all the different source data records. The next step is to take this, merge it down and take all of the behaviors from all these systems and turn it into a unified customer view. To do that, you continue down the, the list here and you go to customer 360 and you can go into databases, hit create database, go if you'd like, you can choose the customer 360 template to start with and give it a name. And what that will do is it will create a database full of views that are derived from all of those tag tables that you that you applied tags to earlier from your Snowflake account. Once that's done, you'll be able to configure any custom merge rules and of course add in your own custom views if you'd like to roll up for different types of calculations. Here you can see what this did is it generated a bunch of different tables on top of the identity data that we already talked about. We have customer 360 tables, transaction standardized tables, the records for all of the different stitch graphs and the scores table. Um, and you can actually come in here and uh, you know look at the underlying SQL, but you can also uh, use our visual template to manually adjust your merge rules. So you can say, I would like the loyalty data to be prioritized over the e-commerce data, but I can also choose which tables I want from here. You know, th this can not, this obviously is where you apply the unique uh, rules for your business. And finally, once you've finished and tailored this to your needs, you'll end up with a single customer view of your data. And the rest of the tabs in the platform become more about how to use that. So you can write queries via the queries tab if you want to access and, and use it via sort of a SQL workbench UI, uh, where you'll be able to write queries and you can use our AI assistant for, for writing queries across the data set. For less technical users, you can use the segments interface here where you'll be able to you know, use a WYSIWYG editor to configure the logic. So in this example, we have people who've spent a certain amount of money or interacted in, during a given time period, and you'll be able to get stats about how they spend, but also how their demographics break down or what kind of behaviors and preferences they have. And then of course you can take these from here. These new data sets are available for you in your Snowflake, and you can create different cuts for different teams as well as create automations to send this data out to your systems. Thanks very much for your time. Have a nice day.